Shervin Pishavar is a startup investor and one of the central social figures in Silicon Valley. Recently, he founded something called the Hyperloop, a project to move people long distances through tubes at supersonic speeds. He's not a scientist. He's not even particularly technical. Can he build it? Nellie Bowles went to find out. This is Shervin Pishavar. Seriously, I'm like the modern Mr. Rogers. This is his home. I try to curate and bring together people in this home, from Malala to President Obama to Hillary. This is his Apple logo. How much does the original Apple logo cost? I shouldn't say. Here he is with Obama. President Obama's standing right here. So he put his hand on this thousand-year-old Buddha head, and he rubbed it for good luck. There we go. Swish. The dreamers of the world ended up settling here and building this city. That immigrant story is something that is a big part of Silicon Valley, is, is most of the companies that have been built here have been built by immigrants. Shervin's own family immigrated to the U.S. from Iran. So this is my dad's taxi license in Washington, D.C. when we immigrated to America. It just reminds me of, like, you know, where we, where we came from. His reputation and fortune comes largely from a single investment he made in 2011 while at Menlo Ventures, a $26 million stake in a small ride-hailing app called Uber. Those shares are now worth more than $5 billion. <laughs> <laughs> no, the whole world's watching. Shervin's social life is infamous in Silicon Valley. Good evening, everyone. A low bar, maybe, but his parties are good. Incredibly smart, incredibly passionate, very forward-thinking guy, and just, uh, he's, he's a big teddy bear. I love him. But Shervin's not content just being a startup investor looking for the next app. He's put his money, and his reputation, into the Hyperloop. This is the Hyperloop, and here's how it is supposed to work. A pressure-controlled tube will allow a pod containing people and cargo to travel through it at extremely high speeds, up to 700 miles per hour, as it literally floats through the tube, propelled by a highly efficient solar-powered motor. No friction, no pollution. You'll travel from L.A. to San Francisco in 35 minutes. At least, that's the plan. Shervin's friend, Elon Musk, came up with the idea of a Hyperloop and handed it off to Shervin to develop while on a trip to Cuba. Sean Penn was also there. What do you bring to the Hyperloop? Um, one, I'm, I passionately believe in the idea. If we can travel between San Francisco and L.A. in 35 minutes, city center to city center, it would free up humanity to, to really live and work anywhere. Is this really going to work? Yes. It's going to work. The propulsion system worked in May in Nevada. We showed that to the world. So by March of 2017, we'll have the full-scale Hyperloop, the world's first Hyperloop work, and that'll be with cargo. But all has not been smooth at the Hyperloop. Shervin's Hyperloop co-founder, a man named Brogan Bambrogan, recently settled a high-profile lawsuit against Shervin and the Hyperloop team, which Shervin's lawyers have called bogus. Ben Brogan alleged that Shervin's brother Afshin left a noose on his desk as a threat, and that the Hyperloop is more of a front for parties than a serious venture. What happened between um, your brother and Brogan Ben Brogan? No, I'm okay. I, can't, I can't talk about the lawsuit. There's that security image with the rope. What do you make of that? I can't talk about anything related to the lawsuit. Do you want to do the tour? Getting a tour of the Hyperloop is strange because it's hard to tell what's real. When Hyperloop launched, they hurriedly set up computer stations to make the place look busier for a magazine photo shoot. Employees seem drawn by Shervin's confidence. This is really cool. So he's going to demonstrate the levitation. Yeah. This is how we actually levitate the pod. So we have a bunch of magnets that sit underneath the vehicle. And then you'll, you'll see it uh, begin to float once it, once it gets it on. Well, not at first. There we go. All right. But then it did. <laughs> so when you have no friction and you're levitating, you're going to be able to move things extremely fast. The company is working on a plan to build a link between Abu Dhabi and Dubai. But we likely won't see a Hyperloop in America anytime soon. Shervin's project has only raised $160 million, while some estimate it will cost up to $100 billion to complete a loop between LA and San Francisco. And there is currently no government commitment to the project. 
There are people arguing that the Hyperloop is, it's like a sort of banker owning a restaurant. Like this is your place where you entertain, where you bring people and it's cool. <laughs> if, I, if I wanted to, to have a cool place, like, you know, I would, I would open a restaurant or a club or something. That's not, this is, this is about like trying to change the world. As long as the ideas come to life and it makes the world a better place, um, that's what matters. Every startup has is a struggle. Like you know, it's it's a it's a birthing process. Like you you have to will an idea to life. 